Hello, welcome back to AC's 8-Bit Zone. This Coco One has just had its ROM upgraded and one of the next things I'm going to upgrade uh, today is the video output. The Coco is going to get the Coco DV video upgrade for uh, digital video output. And toward that, I received something in the mail just a couple days ago. This is from uh, Mike Rojas. And uh, what this is, it's a relocator board. So uh, normally with a Coco One, we would have to cut this center plastic post because it's going to be in the way of trying to plug the Coco DV into the VDG socket. Uh, so at least the, the VDG is already socketed, but it's a bit of work to remove the, the main board from the case and then, and then cut the post off. Uh, and some people might not want to uh, modify their case at all. So uh, this is a super board. Um, many thanks to Mike Rojas for building this. And uh, he donated one to the channel. And uh, he's, he's also offered Gerbers for anyone who wants to do this for themselves. And uh, so let's, let's take a look and see how this is going to fit in here. A couple of things I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the VDG from this socket. Okay. And uh, this little filter, this is a, a factory mod, is a little bit in the way. So I'm going to uh, sort of move that and lay it down a little flatter. I think I'll put a smaller piece of shrink wrap on it and I can probably tuck it down a little closer to the uh, to the MC1372 chip there. Okay, so need to install a couple of parts onto the relocator board. So um, I believe it's meant to sit like this. So I'll need to have some some pins on this end like that, and I'm going to hold those in place temporarily with with a socket. This is just going to keep them straight while I'm soldering them in. Okay, so so that will sit like that. And then I'll place this socket right there. Okay. <clears throat> then Coco DV will sit here and clear the post. Okay, so uh, let's get this soldered up. This rubber band should hold the pieces in place until I get the, uh, the parts tacked down.
Okay, that looks good. I'll remove the rubber band <clears throat> and finish all the joints. Okay, all points soldered. Time to put it into the cocoa board. I'm hit running into this cap C21. Maybe I'll just move it over a little bit. No, not quite. Okay. Okay, let's see if I have a clearance issue or if it's if it's going to make it. Okay, I believe believe I have room under there. I think so. Anyway, there we go. Yes. Okay, I think that's seated all the way down. It's it, the board 
the relocator board is not touching the 1372 IC. It's cleared, clearing above that. It's just touching this electrolytic cap, this orange one here. Uh, but there's still some wiggle room for that cap. So we're good there. And I think I've bottomed out the pins all the way into the main socket. So should be good. Okay, and while I was while I was wrestling with things, I might have bent a pin on the socket on the way out. Just a little bit, just a couple pins. Okay, no harm. Okay, let's go in. with the 6847. So with Coco DV, you still need to keep your working 6847 because it still creates the timing references for uh, field sync and horizontal sync. Uh, well, and it, uh, it also creates the, uh, the composite, or the, uh, it also creates the component signals for uh, driving the RF modulator in case you want both digital output and you want to keep your old RF modulator output. Okay, so there it is. It's in there. Very easy to install. Much easier than removing the Coco main board and cutting the, the plastic post. This should give you a little bit of an idea about the stack height. There. Okay, there, there's plenty of clearance in the case back here, so no worries about that. Okay. Now let's connect this up to the uh, DVI connector and try it out with the monitor. So I grabbed a connector board and an FFC cable. I'll connect this up to my test cable. And plug in the FFC. There we go. And get a zoomed in view of that. Okay. So a little bit of video of of inserting the FFC into the all the way into the connector. Here we go. Okay, and I guess just off camera here, yeah, just off camera here, I have my little connector board that I'd keep handy for testing, Cuckoo DV boards. Connect that end in there. And I'm going to uh, move the camera and, uh, well, plug in the Coco, move the camera, and then let you see it with me for the first time as I turn the power on. So hold one moment while I move the camera. Okay, also turned off the overhead light so we can see the monitor just a little bit better. Okay, this is exciting. Will it work? So to add to the anticipation, this particular uh, monitor is really slow at syncing. So here we go. See if we get an LED when we power on. There's the LED. Okay, and signal. Oh yeah. It looks great, folks. Let me tell you. Wonder if this keyboard works. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Extended color basic 1.1. So there's our ROM mod. Let me just check that version of Color Basic one more time while we're here. Color Basic 1.3, so we should be good for the next stage of the upgrade, which will be a 64K RAM upgrade. This Coco has 16K in it right now. So really awesome, Michael Rojas, thank, many thanks. Thank you so much for sending me these boards. The Coco, Coco D, 
the Coco DV board relocator for Coco One. And that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, come back and we'll be doing more mods to this Coco. It should be fun. See you later.